Each year in the fall, I write a ser sermon or newsletter titled, more or less, This is what I do all day. A perpetual lament for ministers is that we work 60 hours a week and are mostly visible for exactly one of those hours on Sunday morning. Truthfully, most of my professional life is taken up by things other than Sunday morning, things that are less visible to the congregation as a whole. So this year, rather than writing another one of those newsletter articles, I'm going to try something a little bit different. Today is Monday, August 1st. It's the midst of a representative week at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. And over the next five days, maybe seven days if we go all the way to Sunday, I'm going to talk through what my schedule looks like day by day as a way to bring you into the rhythms of this life. So rather than updates on Tuesday and Friday, this will be a daily series, usually up at about five o'clock each day. I'm recording this at 5.07 on Monday, August 1st, right before I leave the office for the day. So, over the summer, my life is more or less run by this book. Each day starts with a list of tasks that I need to get done or work on over the course of the day, mixed in with whatever meetings or events are going on that day. One of the things that I really love about this job is the sheer breadth of it, which is also one of the hardest parts of it organizationally. Monday is usually one of the week's quieter days. The office here is closed, so I can take some time to come in, put music on, plan out the week, and work on long-term projects. Worship planning for the upcoming year, scheduling meetings for the week, working on my thesis. This Monday was a little bit different. This afternoon we hosted the Celebration of Life for Darwin Blue, a longtime member of the congregation who died this spring. Memorial services are always beautiful and always hard. Each life contains a multitude, and marking the end of one is important work. This memorial service was a little harder than usual because I am carrying my own grief from the loss of my grandmother about two weeks ago, what the poet Sarah Freelay calls the sad arithmetic of loss, how every addition becomes a multiplication. After that celebration of life this afternoon, I had my first rapid tonal shift of the week, sitting down to work on annual evaluations of the staff team here at the church. I've got one of my three direct reports just about done, and so we'll call it a night and get some sleep here. Looking forward to tomorrow, Tuesday is usually a busier day than Monday, with meetings with our congregational president, a, pass, a possible sabbatical location, and UCL's staff team on the calendar. This is also about the time of the week that I usually start to take a broad concept of a preaching topic for Sunday and start to put hymns and readings to it, developing the order of service for the weekend. Since we had the celebration of life this afternoon, uh, that will go on tomorrow's list as well. For now, though, uh, the next thing on my list is to go home and, uh, and cook dinner. So I will get to that, uh, and I will see you tomorrow when we go through what Tuesday was like.